Hi everyone, I'm Dre, the host and founder of the Dragon Network. Welcome to this week's video. I want to have a little bit of a conversation around social determinants of health. So social determinants of health, or SDOH as it's commonly referred to, is a topic that we've seen come up more frequently in the healthcare IT space. And it's really something that is of significant magnitude. So it might take us a little while to sort of dive in and figure out what exactly it is and how it fits into our world. So I figured what better time to start than now at the beginning as we're working our way through everything. So the World Health Organization defines the social determinants of health as circumstances in which people are born, grow up, live, work, and age, and the systems that are put in place to deal with illness, shaped by a wider set of forces, which include economics, social policies, and politics. So with this definition in mind, we can see that the world of social determinants of health is incredibly broad. So with the significance of SDOH and a global focus on health equality that is becoming more and more important, there are a number of different organizations and governments in place around the world that are actually spending a lot more time focusing on social determinants of health so they can inform economics and policy development efforts. So taking a look at what's going on in the U.S., Every 10 years, the Department of Health and Human Services, which looks after all things related to health and wellness, puts together a 10-year look-forward plan of the objectives that they would like to focus on to improve the health and well-being of individuals within that country. So this is published as a Healthy People Initiative. So the most recent one published was in 2020, and it is called the Healthy People 20. 30 initiative. So again, it's looking forward 10 years. So overall, Healthy People 2030 includes 355 different measurable objectives that are organized into five main topic areas. And the topic areas are health conditions, health behaviors, populations, settings and systems, and social determinants of health. So to help further break down this social determinants of health category, they're actually setting up a framework for which all of the organizations and agencies that report up to HHS can build their plans off of for SDOH. So the five core domains that were defined and documented as part of Healthy People 2030 are economic stability, where the goal is to help people earn steady income that allows them to meet their health needs. And in this area, there are nine different objectives that are going to fall into that 355 overall objectives for the 10 year plan. And the intent of this category is to focus on things that will help people obtain and maintain a steady source of income for themselves and their family members. So individuals that have a steady source of income are more likely to be able to afford their housing needs, their food needs, and the healthcare services that they need. And by nature of those three things, they're actually more likely to lead a healthier life. So the second domain is education access and quality. So for Healthy People 2030, the goal for this domain is actually to increase the educational opportunities for children and adolescents so that they do well in school. So higher education is actually very well documented to be associated with individuals living longer lives and being healthier overall. So with this particular area, the objectives that they're going to focus on over the next 10 years is trying to really understand how to put frameworks in place so you can set up that lifelong learning at an early age. So focusing on children and adolescents for sure, but definitely not ignoring the other educational components that exist. And many healthcare organizations themselves, as well as different states, are also gonna focus on education and quality in this area. So improving things like health literacy or patient understanding, having different language translations available, and really just improving the overall education of healthcare related topics. So the third SDOH domain that's been defined is healthcare access and quality. So the goal for this domain is to increase access to comprehensive, high quality healthcare services. There are 34 different objectives out of the 355 that fall into this particular category. A number of them have to do with access to primary care and improving the access individuals have to a primary care provider in their area improving access to services and to medications and addressing some of the factors that may be preventing individuals from actually being able to realize those services. So if there is economic factors that are impeding someone's ability to get medications or if there are distance factors and transportation issues with being able to access services 
um, if services perhaps aren't provided in their areas or there's too wide of a coverage gap between service providers, things like that are incorporated into this area. And the other thing that they're trying to look at in this category is trying to decrease the number of individuals in the U.S. population who don't have any insurance coverage. So they want to try to expand the individuals that are covered by insurance services, whether that be Medicare, Medicaid, CHIP, or private insurance. In this particular domain, the Healthy People 2030 initiative actually calls out some healthcare IT specific elements, such as increasing the ability of view, download, and transmit for individuals to see, access, and share their records, increasing the number of hospitals and providers that can share and exchange data between each other when they're caring for a patient, giving patients electronic access to their information, and a number of other things. So this particular domain is one to pay some close attention to when we're looking at things that are going to be developed by ONC and CMS, which both report up to the Department of Health and Human Services. So the next one we have is neighborhood and built environment. The goal for this one is to create environments and neighborhoods that actually promote overall health and safety. So there are certainly some differences between safety and environments throughout the US as well as throughout every other country that exists in the world and the safety of a neighborhood, the crime rates within a neighborhood, the domestic violence rates that are present in someone's community, those types of things have a significant impact on the overall health outcomes of an individual. So from social determinant perspective, safety is a big one that we actually need to try to work to address so that we have those structures in place that make interacting with living and working in your communities a safer place to be. The last domain that was defined is social and community context. So the social and community context domain is actually focused on improving social supports. This one is getting a lot of attention in the wake of the pandemic. We're starting to see some of the impacts that social isolation can have in the overall health and well-being of an individual, in particular in the areas of mental health and addiction. So improving individual social networks and that feeling of community or that sense of being connected to family and friends is another one of the SDOH domains that's going to get a lot of attention in the next 10 years. So all of them are certainly going to be focused on, but I think this one in particular is one to be very mindful of. And there's two reasons for that. One, COVID is having a significant impact on isolation of individuals, and we're gonna see the impacts of that in the next few years. And the second one is if you can improve the community context for an individual and what their community supports look like, you can actually offset some of the other negative SDOH risk factors and impacts that exist in the other areas. So this particular domain can actually reach across into the others and help in that area as well which is why I think we're gonna see a lot of movement in this one. So those are the five core domains that were defined by the Department of Health and Human Services. So with these five domains, the Healthy People Initiative is also providing a number of tools and data items that can help organizations and communities to define their goals and to reach them with respect to social determinants of health. So I hope you found this video helpful. I'm gonna put a link below to the Healthy Initiatives 2030 website so you can look more into how they have got it defined and what that base framework is going to look like for all of the agencies and organizations that report up through HHS in the U.S. There's also a number of things that are going on in other countries, so I would encourage you to look into some of the government efforts and some of the larger scale initiatives that are underway with respect to defining SDOH. The World Health Organization certainly has some information on their website and stay tuned over the next several years because we're going to see a lot of movement in this space for health IT. So if you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you're notified when the next video comes out and I will see you again next week.